over the last couple of years I've done uh, videos about the golf carts here in the villages. And uh, there's all kinds of different kinds of golf carts, uh, especially these street rod cars that you see right here. Uh, they're very expensive though, so you better have the coin to buy one of these things. This one here is 20 grand, which is what uh, a lot of cars cost today. Anyways, uh, I walked around the uh, golf uh, cart shop here in the villages. There's actually uh, three of them, one down in Brownwood, one in uh, just outside Spanish Springs, and of course one down in Sumter Landing. And, uh, it's nice to see what uh, these carts go for, the brand new ones. You know, the, the average ones that the average Joe can buy. Uh, this one is really decked out for 18 grand. But uh, the, the main cart that everybody seems to be buying here in the village is the, is the Yamaha. I would say probably, oh, say 70% are probably Yamahas. And you've got the Par Car and then the Easy Go. And if you're looking to buy a golf cart here in the villages, there's some things I think you should look out for. And one thing that uh, has uh, come to light recently are the bottom windshield has these vents. So you can slide these things open and get a nice cool breeze on you when you're traveling along. Uh, when you put that front windshield down, you're going to get a lot of wind in your face and a lot of bugs. So keep that in mind. I did find that the golf carts here tend to be on the high side. Maybe it's because they have a lot of options already installed. So keep that in mind. Do a lot of shopping. You, know, you have your electric carts, you have your gas carts. And it's up to you to decide what's the best thing for you. Golf carts that are, you know, have the gas engines, they're going to need a little bit more maintenance than the battery ones. But the battery ones are, need to be charged up. And uh, you can't take that thing out unless it's uh, got a really good charge. So keep that in mind because the villages is getting larger and larger. So I, if, if it was up to me, I, I think I would tell most people to concentrate on the gas golf carts. Uh, you don't want to run out of a, you have a low charge. And when, once those batteries start getting depleted, then they're going to start slowing down. And, uh, it's good to keep that level speed out on the trails here villages, especially when they're hill climbing. Some of these golf carts have unbelievable seats inside. And if you can afford it, go for the real good comfortable seats with the armrests. You won't be disappointed. Because again, like I say, the villages is getting very large. And uh, you want to be comfortable as much as possible when you're driving around in these things. But you can get a good cart, golf cart probably in about, right around brand new, I'm talking, not refurbished, for about 11 grand with most of the uh, options that you want. Uh, some of them have the overhead bin above your head. That's really nice. And that's something I would look out for if you can. If you can get a four seater, try to get the ones that the seats fold down in the back, not the constant four seaters because they tend to stick out about, well, I'd say about another 12 inches in the back. And when you're parking these things in the squares, your tail end's gonna be sticking out and it, it could get clipped by another golf cart or a car. So keep that in mind when you're looking for a golf cart. Do your research. Shop around. There's a lot of places outside the villages that sell golf carts. And if you buy one from them, they'll deliver it right to your door. Here's that uh, uh, four-seater I was just telling you about, that blue one. You can see the, uh, the seat in the back. If it was me, if I was buying a brand new car, that's the one I would be going for. Because if your grandkids are visiting or you got uh, company staying at your house for a few days, then you can take care of them. They can jump in the back seat and away you go. So I would say here's a beautiful one right here. Those are the seats I'm talking about with the armrest. The outside armrest and then you get the one in the middle armrest. Real comfortable seats. And it's an option. I think this is the salesman. I think it was like twelve hundred dollars for these uh, uh, upgraded seats. And of course, it's all marine gray fabric. It's all waterproof. Some of them have the GPS installed. And, uh, you know the the gas gauge on the dashboard. Instead of lifting up the seat and checking your gas, most of these golf carts they do have the gas gauge in the dash. A USB ports. That's an option. I think you should look for. That's really nice to have. You can just plug in your uh, your smartphone and away you go. 
And look at this dog. This was parked outside the golf cart store. And I got a kick out of him because his owner was inside the store, but right next to him is his smartphone. He's guarding that thing. I thought, okay, you know, no one's going to go steal that thing because the dog is probably sitting on it. Leave your comments.